Welcome everyone to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we are going to be talking about some new cartel market items whose images have actually been data mined. So if you guys remember I did a video about a few weeks ago where I talked about just the names of some of the uh, items. Well now we actually have photos to attach to them and it, some of them look really really awesome and I'm actually looking forward to quite a lot of them. So definitely something to get kind of excited for. Also I think patch 5.5 is set to be released on October 10th. Uh, so it's still quite a while away, however, I guess a lot of these items we're going to see during that patch with the new cartel pack. And hopefully, hopefully, um, we will kind of see all these items in the same cartel pack, because that will make for a really, really awesome pack. So let's get right into some of the items so we're not wasting too much time. The first one we'll talk about here is the new companion. Uh, this one's going to be another droid companion, but I'd like to draw you guys' attention to that assault cannon. Uh, that's actually not an assault cannon I think we've seen in the game. So it's kind of cool to see a weapon that's unique to only the companion. I'm not sure if we'll see that kind of in a future cartel pack just as a standalone item. And talking about the droid itself, I'm betting it has something to do with Nahut, which is the new uh, boss that's going to be coming with uh, Operations or whatever that's called, God of the Machines. Uh, maybe it's an ad or something or uh, some sort of thing you fight during the operation or maybe it's just kind of a or maybe it's the droid we've already seen I'm not sure but anyways that is going to be the new companion I'm not a big fan of the droid companions it's no uh, it's no secret that I enjoy the uh, beast companions a lot more I think they're cooler I think a lot of people like to use them a little bit more uh, but anyways that's going to be the new companion also looking at some of the new mounts here the first one we have here is another kind of assault speeder slash uh, tank and we actually already have one of these in the game that believe it or not silver rarity uh, the one we have in the game came out all the way out of like the outer rim explorer pack and it had a really nice flourish where it actually shot laser bolts out of those cannons that you, or those turrets that you see at the top there so um, since that one was already silver I'm assuming this one's going to be silver rarity as well because it would kind of be out of order for them to release a silver uh, mount and then reskin it as a gold mount that would just be really wacky so I highly doubt that's going to be gold it's looking silver I bet there's going to be some flourish associated with it and also um, I kind of like it it looks a lot bigger than the last one so maybe it's kind of a bigger version of it and it definitely looks like one of those uh, tanks that you would see in the phantom menace with like the trade federation and when they were fighting and all that stuff it looks like that kind of a style but anyway super cool and then here we go my favorite item uh probably everyone's favorite item guys here is the hollow rancor mount so if you didn't actually believe it when i said it well now we have an image of it and that looks freaking awesome i mean you gotta you know agree with me on that one let me know in the comments if you guys like, do agree but that looks freaking awesome um for those of you kind of wondering what the hell that is it's kind of a droid so basically it's a rancor uh themed droid but then it has it projects a hologram and i'm not sure if that hologram itself is going to be a flourish that comes out only when you click the flourish and then otherwise you would just have a, like the droid frame but um either way that looks freaking awesome now in the image itself, you can see the droid quite clearly and the droid itself looks really cool. Uh, but the um, actual hologram of the Rancor is kind of faded so it might be a little bit difficult to see especially since uh, I'm seeing it pretty high resolution on my screen. But when I actually convert it to a video format of what you guys are seeing, it's going to look a little bit less um, a high resolution therefore a little bit harder to see. So I'm hoping that when we actually see this item in game, it'll be a lot more kind of prominent. You can actually see the Rancor hologram but either way, uh, this is just freaking awesome. I really, really hope they don't make it platinum. It would just suck if they make it a platinum mount, even though this is probably uh, one of the few mounts in the game that's actually platinum worthy. The only other platinum mount that was officially released in the pack was the scavenger lugger wall. And that one I did not think at all was like worthy of being a platinum mount. That was just straight up should have been gold. But this one, man, this one is something I think a lot of people would try for even if it was platinum. But I'm hoping they'll make it gold. Who knows, maybe it's not even a pack item. Maybe it'll just, just drop from the boss. Because we've seen them do that before, right? With the, uh, what's that thing called? The Dreadforged Rancor? The one that drops from the... Uh, Dread Fortress or Dread Palace. Uh, that one was also a really nice looking Rancor that had a lot of cybernetics and that one only dropped from the operation. So maybe this is one of those cases where it's only going to drop but I don't see Bioware doing that because I see that this item would probably make them a lot of cash. So definitely the one item I'm really excited for. Uh, once again let me know if you guys are really excited for this one as well. I think it just looks awesome. And that's not the only awesome item in the pack. Uh, take a look at this flare. I really like this one as well. Obviously, it's got the Nahut symbol on it, which is what they're doing with all the flares now. Whenever they release a flare, it usually has something to do with the Operation Boss. 
Also, since this pack is going to contain a flare, it's not going to contain a tuning because usually what they do is they'll only release either a tuning or a flare in a cartel pack. But either way, this one actually looks really cool and the reason I like it a lot is I really like the silver blue theme. It looks very much like something uh, someone would wear in Manan or uh, Churka Corporation. It looks very like high level, pristine, um, fancy basically. And so I kind of really like that flare. That's actually one that I would uh, consider using quite a lot. So. Very nice flare. And then going on into the weapon here, we have a double bladed saber coincidentally enough. We don't have the single bladed saber design yet. Now this is kind of a really unique design for the saber itself. I mean, if you look at the hilt, it looks very similar to the Tempted Apprentice. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen that in game, it's basically Luke Skywalker's saber from Return of the Jedi. It's very, very similar to that design. And this one just kind of looks like they took two of them and stuck them together and then wrapped some black cloth in the middle. But uh, I don't know if this is normal, but it looks a lot bigger than normal double bladed sabers. Like this one looks freaking massive. Um, and so I kind of like the design. I don't think it will be platinum, even though it's kind of looking like that. We already know that we have the Nahut saber and the, no, sorry, the Nahut assault cannon and the Nahut sniper rifle. For those of you who haven't already seen those images, I've shown them like a ton of times in the videos. And um, those seem to be the new platinum items. So this one might very well just be a really nice looking silver item. It also has that red kind of flashing light coming out of it. So a lot of fancy stuff is going on there, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe this is, is indeed a platinum item and it's going to come out in a later cartel pack. I don't know. But either way, it's a pretty decent design. It's not like some of the other crappy uh, weapon designs we've seen in the game. Then we also have another pet. Now this one could be a mount, but I'm get, I'm betting it's a pet. Um, and this one is has that glowy effect to it. So we only have a few of those pets in the game. The other one we have is the Rackling and then the uh, Vrake that we have seen in the recent cartel pack. And basically what these pets do is when you activate them, they'll actually glow. And the ones we have in the game right now, they glow really bright yellow. Uh, I'm guessing this one is gonna glow really bright blue. And if it's a mount, that's kind of cooler, but I'm just guessing it's a pet at this point. And then we also have another pet here, which is this, um, I'm honestly not sure what this is. It looks like uh, some animal from an operation. I, I know, I've seen it before. Uh, maybe on Yavin or something, but um, I just can't put a name to it. But anyways, that's going to be another pet for anyone who wants it. We also have uh, two emotes coming, which I'll talk about really quickly. Uh, one of the emotes here seems to be the King Kong or Gorilla thing where you smack your chest a whole bunch of times, which is kind of cool. And then the other emote we have is the bicep kiss, which looks a little bit at this point like more of like she's smelling her armpit, but it's definitely a bicep kiss emote. So anyways, there we go. Those are two new emotes coming. Then we also had these images data mined quite a while ago, but since there were so few, I didn't want to just make a separate video about it. So we'll go ahead and talk about them now. We actually have the armor sets data mined as well. So we have the Agile Sentinels armor set here for this one i'll just uh you know say let me know what you guys think because i don't really have many comments on it i'm just not a fan of how it looks right now i don't like the helmet uh, I just don't see why anyone would wear that helmet. And then the upper body armor is kind of okay. It looks very reskinny. I mean, sure, the color scheme is different and it seems to have like some extra padding and plates on it, but it looks very similar in design to things like these uh, cool uh, Knight Captain's breastplate and stuff. So I'm just not a fan of this one. It also seems to have a butt cape as well. The, here's a few of the unique designs actually. We have the Bionic Warriors armor set. Now this one I have not seen before. Uh, the helmet looks very, very wacky, uh, very Sith-like. I kind of like it, but it'll look a lot nicer if they allow a hood to be on top of it. Because a lot of the helmets just don't do that. A lot of the helmets will auto-take away the hood. But I think this one would look a not lot nicer with a hood. But other than that, I'm not a big fan of the upper body armor once again. Uh, this one looks very much like a silver armor set. And then the next one here we have is the Proficient Hitman. Now this one is actually going on a totally unique design. I'm digging kind of the entire armor set. Um, the helmet, I'm kind of digging it. When I first saw it, I was kind of like, oh, that looks a little bit weird. But then uh, as I kind of look at it a little bit more, I kind of like it. I like the design. I like the whole metallic feel, something a bounty hunter would definitely wear. And then I kind of like the upper body armor as well. It's got those nice, um, that X cross of straps with some bullets, uh, seems to be some extra ammo there or something. So all in all pretty decent so i'm not a big fan of the armor sets but the proficient hitman is okay i just don't like the other two very much and then finally we have another mount the umbaran spider tank so for those of you once again who saw that video earlier this had been data mined as well and this one is going to go very similar to the acclay design so it's probably going to move and look like an acclay it's just going to be a robotic version of it it's that uh, final boss that you do during the umbaran flashpoint and so that one's going to be a cool one as well. It does also look like you're going to be hidden, so you won't be actually on the top. You'll be inside the mount itself with the little cover thing covering you. And then finally, we'll end this video off with the two uh, Nahut Heavy Cannon and Nahut Sniper Rifles. For any of you guys who have not already seen them, these are most likely going to be the new Platinum items that we see.
And so that is it guys, that looks like some of the items that we are going to see in the new cartel pack. Now I'm once again, I'm not sure if all these items will show up in the same cartel pack or if even they're all cartel market items. Some of them might very well just be drops from the Operation Boss. We have yet to see what's going to happen with them, but they are some pretty nice designs. This is actually something that's going to be really nice to see because the last cartel pack sucked. I hated the Precious Cargo pack, honestly. I only opened like one of them during the pack opening and also from what I've seen on the GTN, they've dropped tremendously in price because a lot of people are not really willing to pay high prices for it because it's not very nice so this is going to be a much nicer kind of change from that they're going off on some really nice unique designs some things a lot of players would actually enjoy getting and so i'm looking forward to it so hope you got i hope you guys are also looking forward to the new patch coming this october 10th uh some exciting stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one